currently on my way from work. I kind of got my hopes up. Please tell me it's there. Let's go and see, guys. There it is. I think that's it. I remember that box. <laughs> idea how incredibly hyped I am for this new brand new M1 Pro MacBook. I'm not even sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's the 14 inch, the 16 inch, what specs. All I know there's a MacBook waiting for me inside that box. This is it ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. What could it be? Ooh. 14 inch, 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook. Oh my god, this is heavy. Alright, no kidding. This has to be. I keep dropping stuff. But this has to be the heaviest 14 inch laptop I ever felt. And I hope that's for good reasons because this thing. It has a lot to offer and the reason why I'm so excited is because I currently use the M1 MacBook Pro. I edit with Premiere Pro. There's tons of lag sometimes when I'm like working with three 4K files on one timeline. So hopefully this thing could help me in that department. But without any further ado, let's get unboxing. There we go. Apple logo front and center, of course. Ah, uh, yo, this is heavy. <laughs> this is heavy. Let's see what we we'll get inside. So we get the MagSafe charger. This is kind of new this year. Love to see it. I'll take another look at that. We got some paperworks. Uh, I heard there's a black Apple sticker. I definitely want to see what that looks like. There we go. Black Apple stickers. First ever in history. You can see the black jacket. Black Apple stickers, that's sick. This is the power brick. So this is a 96 watt power brick. I've seen a lot of people complain about it's too big like in the unboxings I've seen. But like, come on guys, this is a powerhouse we're dealing with right here. So yeah, this is the MagSafe charger. Let's take a cleaner look at this. The brand new MagSafe charger. That's what it looks like. I've never owned any Apple device that had MagSafe with the MacBooks. So this is a first for me. Here it is, the MacBook Pro. I'm sorry if the audio is trash in this video guys, but I was not prepared for all of this monstrosity right here. Uh, okay, so we got the space gray model. That's how it looks. Taking a look at the side guys, you can see we have the MagSafe charger, two Thunderbolt USB-C, we still have the headphone jack, and you guys can see how thick this is. This is a very thick MacBook. Look over here again. On this side, we have the SD card slot, baby. Yes, sir, SD card slot, HDMI port, USB-C. Thank you, Apple. Oh. Them speakers sound like business right there. I can't see the notch yet. I can't see the notch yet. You guys are gonna see my initial impressions on these notch. Like, I gave my honest opinion on the notch. Okay, it's on. First thing first, the screen looks crazy good. <sighs> this screen is insane. Let's see what happens if we drag the mouse through the notch, you guys. That's the first thing I want to try. That this wallpaper kind of hides the notch. Oh, you can see how how fluid the screen is. So the mouse cursor basically goes underneath the notch, kind of hides, and then pops back out. So that's kind of cool. Testing out the keyboard. Keyboard feels. Feels just like the regular MacBook, honestly. If I'm being honest, you have the touch, the fingerprint scanner right here. You guys can see it. And yeah, man, this thing is beefy. Like, I'm so happy I went with a 14 inch. I 
feel like the 16 inch would just be too much. I know, yes, we get the power and all of that, but I'm not trying to break my back, bro. I was just about to swipe up. Ooh. So yeah, no more touch bar. It's gone. I had this instinct of just swiping to turn the volume up, but it's fine. You know, we're back with the FN keys. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's wrong with that. Let's hear the speakers. speakers are next level that's all I could say the speakers sound great the screen looks amazing uh, we should actually test out the webcam so I guess this is how it look if you just call in your family members or somebody calls you on FaceTime you're like yo what's up bro yeah I'm doing work you know what I'm saying so yeah the, the quality looks good you know based on what I'm seeing right here it looks good I want to see how the MagSafe feels. Oh, it's satisfying. Alright guys, you know me. We have to test the MagSafe to the limit, right? So what if like, for example, you know, someone's walking by, you have your, your MacBook here at school, you know, it's charging, and I walk by. Oh, look. MacBook safe, still there. Charger is on the floor. You're like, yo, you just, you just dropped my charger, bro. Just plug it back in. Boom. Another thing we have to try is the beloved SD card. Let's put our SD card in for the first time. Oh, it has like a spring mechanism. And there we go, SD card in, usually pops up here. Boom, haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> so it kind of sticks out like this. It doesn't go all the way in. So if you're using an SD card on your MacBook, just know it's gonna stick out like this. With my configuration right now, we're rocking the 32 gigs of RAM. We have the 14 inch M1 Pro, all right? And then we're rocking one terabyte of storage internally, which is great. Honestly, I tend to find myself using external storage a lot. Let me show you. So yeah, these are the two SSDs I have right now. And as you can see, I have Velcro on them because I always just stick it to the back of my MacBooks. And I also have a blue one that's attached to my M1 MacBook at work. We do have the Pixel 6 timeline right here on Premiere Pro right now. And you guys can see we have four, two 4K streams footage right here. To Google and tell us. So you know what that means? I can't really show you guys anything until- it Plays back perfectly fine. Because I signed an embargo. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is export this file on my PC right here. It took me roughly, I would say 15, 10 minutes to export this. So I'm just going to export it right now. There's some files that are missing like overlays and stuff like that. But I'm just going to export this in the same format, export media. I'm going to export in high quality 4K. Ensure to enable maximum render quality. To change this to 40 bit rate, that's what I usually use. Change this to CBR. All right, we're going to hit export guys. Let's see if we could export this under 10 minutes. Let's go. Estimated wait time, five minutes. It went up to 13. Guys, I'm recording from my phone right now. But let me know if you could hear the fans. So I actually could hear the fans chipping in. It says 6 minutes. Boom. It's 2 4K footage. And on the timeline, that's about it. But I definitely could hear the fans chipping in. So, yeah. Just an update. That's impressive. The MacBook finished rendering this. In about eight minutes my PC right here which costs five thousand dollars by the way took around ten minutes to export this said video right here that's crazy and the fans also cooled down I can't hear the fans again nice to see 
But yes, guys, that's it. That's my initial first impressions of the M1 Pro MacBook. Absolutely love this thing. I'm going to take it out for a day in the life, spin with this thing. Make sure you guys see how you actually use this MacBook in a real day in the life, like actual editing, listening to music, traveling with it, telling you if it's heavy or not. But so far, I love it. The notch, I thought the notch would be an issue, but I actually got used to it, guys. The notch, I guess, I guess Apple is just the notch right now. You know what I'm saying? I got used to it. It's not a big deal. I thought I would hate it, but it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, so far, love this MacBook. Let me know what you guys think down below. If I was supposed to get this for myself, I would get the silver one. I feel like the silver one would look a lot more better, in my opinion, if, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's it. Take a look at the back. You can see that engraved MacBook Pro logo right there. The trackpad feels amazing. The keyboard, to me, feels just as good as um, the M1 MacBook that just released last year. It doesn't feel any different. It feels the same. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Full review coming soon. As always, love, peace. Get this video to 1,000 likes and I'll drop the day in the life. If this video gets 1,000 likes in a day, I'll drop the day in the life with the M1 MacBook Pro on Friday. Alright guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.